Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Planting with Julian episode. I'm back in Arizona and I'm really excited to do a little propagating video for you guys. Now, I did a similar one with my grandma with the prickly pear. I am in front of a big elephant's bush here at our home in Scottsdale and I wanted to go ahead and do some clippings. If you guys enjoy these type of planting with Julian episodes, sound off down below. I have a pair of clean scissors here with me and I'm really excited to get some cuttings. This video will be split up in part one and part two. So, so here's part one of the video. I have my propagating scissors with me, which is just clean pair of scissors. And then I will be taking it back over the plane with me tomorrow morning. And once the cuttings are calloused over, I'll go ahead and film part two in my patio, finishing up the propagating step for these beautiful cuttings that I got. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, let me know down in the comments below and let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up a piece here and then I'm going to do a clipping on the bottom. Here. So here's a nice one right here. So I just pulled it up and I went really low to get a clipping where I could get multiple branches here. I'm going to do the same thing again, lifting up. Here's another one right here. Let's get a few more. Here's a really nice one right here. I'm going to just pull here and cut right at the bottom. And then we have a big, beautiful cutting right here, which is like longer than my arm. So here's another good one. So I'm just pulling it and then getting to the bottom of it and getting a nice clipping here. So that's another good one. I'll do the same thing here. Clipping all the way at the bottom. Here's another one. I really like these tall ones here, so I'm gonna go over here and get a few of these. So here's one cutting right here. Here's another one right here. Here's another one. So here's the last ones I think I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna this guy here. Here's another one. Here's another one. All right, welcome to part two propagating elephant's bush. So I'm back home in Santa Monica. I did the cuttings about three days ago from the mother plant in Scottsdale, Arizona. My grandma was kind enough to pack them really good in my carry-on. It's been callousing over in my patio as of yesterday. I have all of the cuttings here in my potting tray ready to go. Once you get your cuttings from your mother plant, yes, you can go ahead and wait for the ends to callous over before putting it into dirt. But there's a lot of people out there that stick them directly into dirt right after cutting it from the mother plant. So it's your preference what you want to do if you want to wait for it to callus over or stick them directly into dirt. I already have mine callus over and we're going to propagate both by water and by dirt. I like both techniques and we're going to do both today. I have my potting tray right in front of me set up and ready to go. If you guys are interested in my potting tray, I have my link in the description bar below. Go ahead and check it out. I absolutely love it to film. Now I have everything set up here and I'm going to go ahead and look at each cutting one at a time. All of my cuttings will go into my greenhouse with the rest of my cuttings and propagation and rescue plants and I'll live there until they root up and I am ready to give them out as plant friend gifts for the holidays and I will be selling a bunch. If you guys are interested in any of the plants I'm selling, you can always reach out to me in a direct message on Instagram at Planting with Julian. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, all of my cuttings are here. I have some empty plastic nursery planters, four glasses filled with water and we're going to do both here. I have my succulent cactus soil mix in my silver bin with two shovels and I'm gonna look at each single cutting and decide which ones I'm gonna put into water and which ones I'm gonna put into dirt. Now the thing with elephant's bush and just succulents in general is you have to peel off the ends 
to expose the stem here so that it can grow roots. So I'm just taking the bottoms off. Once I take off a few petals from the bottom to expose the stem, I'm gonna pick and choose what I'm gonna place into water and what I'm gonna do into dirt. So I think for now, I'm just gonna place all of the tall one stem guys into water and I'll just make sure that I level out the water so that the leaves are not in the water. So something like this, I'll peel the bottoms off like this I'll do one more here and I think this is gonna be good so I have about this much here let's stick this into water here's a good one right here I think I'm gonna just leave this here for now This one might be a good one to put straight into dirt. Options here. We'll see. I got some variety of cuttings. Now look at this guy. There's like multiple branches from him. So let's see here. Take this off here. Probably can save that one and make a cutting keep that okay I think I'll leave this here now the thicker stems do take a while to root so sometimes I kind of want to just stick it right into water to help with the rooting could probably get a cutting off of that keep it on the side Expose the stem here. All right, guys, I'm gonna just go over what I just did. I have four bottles filled with cuttings. I got this guy here, and I'm kind of choosing the thicker stem guys to be put into water because they do take a while to root. So I have this guy in here. There's multiple branches here. This is probably like my best cutting. So I have it in a single bottle. Here's my next guy here. I got one by himself, also a little thicker stem into a bottle by himself again i'm not having the leaves in the water i'm exposing the stem there's my other guy here this is also a very nice cutting i have the ends right in the water and i'm gonna just leave it on the side so i have different sizes in here i got four different sizes in here and i just have them in one bottle so those are my guys that i'm going to keep in water now i have a bunch of cuttings here that i expose the ends and I will plant them up into dirt. And then I also have a smaller planter with little guys in here that I will also plant into dirt as well. Once they are into dirt, I will place them into my greenhouse and they will live there until they root right up. Here. I'm going to try to stick them into this one planter by itself. And then go from there. So what I want to do is I need a little soil in here just so I have something to stick them into. And then we'll add soil as I go. good so as you can see here I have the end right into dirt and then I'm gonna stick them and then press the soil down with my fingers around it so that it can stand tall I'm just going to continue to do the same with the rest of the plant cuttings. Let's see if I can fit them all in this one planter. Sound off down below if you like to propagate babies the old school way, which is straight directly into dirt, or if you like having them in water and watching their water roots form. I like to do both and I like to share both on my channel. It's basically your preference, whatever you desire. This one is a little thick stem, so I'm kind of interested to see how long is it going to take to root up on me. Here's our last one here. Nope, one last guy. This guy 
is kind of struggling. So I'm going to place this into water. See how that does. All of the ends here are in dirt and I'm going to put this in my greenhouse. And then I am going to now work with my smaller guys. Now these were just like the loose guys on the end that maybe I could probably save. Let's go ahead and put some soil in here. And then work with them one at a time. So I'm going to try to save these guys here. They're so adorable. Do this. Do one like that. And then let's see, maybe a shorter guy here. All right. Let's work quick. They're so cute. Let's see who makes it. They're adorable. Can't wait to have this in the greenhouse with the rest of my plant babies. So here's this guy here. And then do we have any more? I don't know. These are like... I'm just gonna stick them here and see what happens. I think the rest... I think that's it guys. All right, so I ended up putting these little guys in two little nursery planters. So I have two small ones and then I have a medium sized planter with a bunch of cuttings. All right guys, we are in the greenhouse. I'm so excited to add these cuttings into the greenhouse collection. So all of my plant cuttings here will stay here until they root up. I will probably give a bunch away for the holidays for my plant friends as gifts and then I will sell a bunch of them as well. And then my propagated babies in bottles will go onto my potting bench on the shelf with the rest of my plant cuttings that are in water as well. I'm gonna place them one at a time on the top of my potting bench. And they will live here until they root up and then I will feature them on the next planting with Julin after it is rooted. And they look so adorable. So that is going to wrap up today's video. The soil is slightly moist. I'm just not going to do anything to it for a while. And I'll check on it in a couple of weeks. Again, when I come into the greenhouse to spray my babies, I'll check it now and then to see if it's struggling. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted on when they root up. I hope this inspires you to maybe propagate from your mother plant if you have succulents. I will go ahead and do a separate video propagating from my jade mother tree because I can see it from here and it is like producing blooms and about to bloom out into beautiful white blooms and the whole tree blooms out and this will be the second time I see it bloom on me but so that would be a whole separate video so stay tuned if you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know down in the comments below yeah, I thought that was really cool to start in Scottsdale Arizona and bring my cuttings back to Santa Monica California and show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how I make more babies if you guys want to see more and you're new welcome to my channel hit the bell to be notified whenever I do an upload subscribe to my channel you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from Santa Monica California Bye.